hello good day welcome to our second class and today we'll be considering selecting the right field package for your simulation okay without wasting much of our time we'll go straight to um our simulation business manager i've already taught you how to load your aspen heist icon so we'll go straight to our simulation business manager okay I've already taught you how to add your components so before I add my fruit package I need to add some components and you already know how to do it so I won't take my time explaining so I want to add from methane to end butane and um, I also want to add water add water and then I'll need a hypothetical component for some reason. Add C seven plus with okay. I'm assuming a normal boiling point of one one zero and um, how to estimate unknown. So I'm done with adding my hypo component. So I've added my component to my component list. Now the next thing is selecting my fluid package. Like I said, without the fluid package being defined and the component list, you won't have access to your simulation environment. So now we need to add or select our fluid package. But I would like to tell you this if you select the wrong fluid package for your simulation, your simulation might not run it might not converge or if it eventually converges you might end up not having the right answer okay you might end up having the wrong answers so it's very important that you know how to select the right flip package and aspen high seas version 8.4 has made it so simple for us we have an icon known as method assistant all i need to do is go to method assistant okay now in the method assistance high seas gives you some question more like a questionnaire you have to answer those questions and um it will it will tell you the the appropriate or the most appropriate fluid package to use so all i need to do is to click on this next button i'll see my first question it says start by selecting one of the following options specify the component type or you specify the process type i'm going to show you how both of them work so let's start with specify component type now the next question you're going to see is is your system a chemical system is it a hydrocarbon system is it um, a special system that contains only water and mine sour water electrolyte aromatics only tls and hydrocarbons so this system is majorly a hydrocarbon system does the mixture contain petroleum assay of course we have hypo component so i'll click yes is the system at vacuum condition nope so the advice i use chow cedar or pen robinson okay or um swab red liquid that's the srk so if i click on yes that means that my um my my, my process is going to operate at the vacuum condition I'll be advised to use brown ketone, antoine, or esotabula. That is if there are no light hydrocarbons. All right. So that's for specification of component type. Now, if I specify process type, I'll be asked to select if the process is a chemical process, an electro um, electrolyte process, environmental, oil and gas processing, mineral, metallurgical, petrochemical, power, refining. So all I need to do is select on oil and gas. Oil and gas. And um, say in general, a cubic equation of state-based property package is appropriate, such as Penn Robinson or SRK. So if you're dealing on oil and gas or you're dealing on hydrocarbons, the best fluid package is always Penn Robinson. Okay? Except you have some other components inside your fluid. For example, if you have um, glycol 
inside your fluid it's advisable you use the tech dehydration um fluid packages like glycol package pengromycin can also go for it or if you have if it's um, a cryogenic system pengromycin of prsv so you decide the ones to use is it reservoir hydrates pengromycin so generally once it's oil and gas processing the best property package to use is always pengromycin always pengromycin always pengromycin best property package to use so that's the best way to know the right fluid package to choose so like i said you go through your method assistant click on next answer all the questions based on what you're doing based on your design you're carrying out okay so for this like i said the right fluid package to use is what pen robinson so i click on fluid package i'll click on add then scroll down and look for pen robinson click on pen robinson and automatically the property package will be okay and you see the fluid package over here it has turned from red to blue meaning that we are set to move over to a simulation environment so that's the right means um to select the right property package or fluid package for your design now when you come to the simulation environment this is the graphical user, user interface so what you need to do first for 8.4 8.8 each time you open the simulation environment you always see your object plate floating so it's left for you to place it where you want so that you have a good space for you to work with so all i need to do is click and drag so i'll drag it to this corner because i always like position it at the right hand side so you see once i place it on any of this arrow it will turn blue so i'll place it here and drop so it will dock it to the right hand side that is basically how to work um or how to drop your object plate in the right place so that you can have a nice space to work with all right the next thing we need to do is to save i'll teach you how to save and um now look at this place you're seeing untitled once we save you see dot hsc meaning high c simulation case so i'll be saving this with tutorial click on file and you click on save click on save so i'll save this with tutorial tutorial and i'd like to save it on my desktop so i'll click on save all right so you see tutorial.hsc that is dot high c simulation case i really want to take it thank you for another um another time that you've given to me all right to listen to what i have to say and i i hope this has really helped you a lot because like i said if you don't select the right fluid package you end up doing the wrong design so the next class we're going to be starting our design fully i'll be teaching you how to add your streams and um, also how to um, define your stream thank you very much for your time